You just learned a lot. I know we covered a good amount of information, but now is the time for you to practice along with us. I was nice enough to put the, tr the trend already there. I know you won't be given that. <laughs> oh yeah, that was nice of you. <laughs> I'm gonna highlight like you did. Okay, so now I have to find out where these are. Yes. Okay. Good. Oh yeah. And then let's not forget it won't set it decreasing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So that's gonna be the opposite then. Yes. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> decreasing is gonna be like from the largest to the smallest and this chart is showing e increasing so yeah the opposite okay correct yeah um i'm just gonna write that so that i don't get confused so largest to smallest large yeah correct good i didn't realize that when you were writing that it was helping me <laughs> <laughs> okay so this isn't like opposing trends, is it? No, because we're not comparing two different ones. So this this okay, is okay. just, yeah, but that's only when you're comparing two different ones. Okay, so that means that um, the smallest is going to be sulfur. Good. And then it would go... I'm just confused because these two were right next to each other. So, <laughs> so which... I'm like, okay. Which trend are we looking at, though? Because they're on the same row. So they're on the same row. It's not opposing trends. Which, like, do we look at the top part or do we look at the bottom part? I'm saying, like, the trends Oh, we're just increasing. looking at the top now. Exactly. And we already went down. Okay. Yeah, okay. and that's so why they're not opposing be... trends. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, okay. So I know I'm writing this backwards, but that's because it is backwards. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but you're right. Correct. Yeah. Good. So the largest would be that. Yeah. Perfect. Next one. Okay. So now I do not know where these are. <laughs> so I N is going to be, I'm so oh, familiar with it. my own parent, my own periodic table, wherever it is. Here it is. Now I'm looking for X, E. Uh, those are the noble gases so that they're going to be all the way to the right of the periodic table on the last column. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> okay. And then R, B. Where is that? Go on the opposite side to the left side of the periodic table next to S, R. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now we're doing increasing. So the smallest to largest. <laughs> Yeah, I would say always write it down. So always start with... Yeah, honestly, exactly I'm the type of person yeah. <laughs> that will confuse me, so <laughs> that just helps me. <laughs> okay, so the smallest is going to be... Wait, oh, I'm looking at the wrong color. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> oh, so it's literally already written out for me. Yes, it is. This was easier. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Um, which atom has elargered? Okay. So here's F. Um, the larger atomic radius is going to be chlorine. Good. That's okay. it. <laughs> and then A. Um, this is opposing. Trends, yes, this is opposing. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Okay. Good. And then another way that you could also notice that they're opposing trends, well, one, they're they're kind of like the same distance away from each other. And also, one is going to be on a different row and a different group. So a different row and a different column. So that's what columns or groups. Um, 
but that's why fluorine and chlorine, that wasn't opposing trends because they were on the same column. Right. And then okay. s- same, same with like um, AS, what did I give you? AS and SE, arsenic and selenium. Those two are on the same row, so they both follow the same trend. But if it was asking AS and S. Uh, which one? Sorry. If it was asking about um, AS and S, then would it be? So those aren't the same dis- distance, though, to each other. Like, AS is farther away from fluorine. So they have to be, like, kind of like nitrogen and sulfur, that kind of, like, equidistant uh, distance away from each other. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. Like, we can't skip a row. Okay. If there's something that you might have missed either on practice problems or something in this video, then go back. It's totally fine to go back and rewatch and pause and actually take notes. That's actually the best way that you can learn is by writing things down.